Stroper after the big win tonight against Reinhardt. Coach, what are your general thoughts on today's game? Um, you know, first of all, I, I thought obviously the second half was a lot better than the first half in terms of a defensive effort for us. Um, one of the things when you have a young, inexperienced team, they don't understand that the approach to the game is extremely important. And I just didn't think we came out with the right mindset defensively. But uh, fortunately, we were able to, you know, come out with a better defensive effort in the second half. And uh, we held them to 21 points and 22% from the field. So, that, you know, it's hard to be upset with that. Question? Now, Coach, do you feel like you guys got kind of jump shot heavy with that three early in the game to kind of cause that run that they went on, turn it around when they got out by one point before you guys won that big run to take the break, get away from them? You know, our thing is, if it's your shot and you're open, you got to take it. Okay, sometimes when you play teams that like to switch and they're a little bit smaller, you're going to get some open shots. And so we took them. We just happened not to make them. But that's not the problem. The problem is we didn't sprint back after we missed them. Yeah, because okay? you kept saying back, back, yeah, back. You got to sprint back after you miss. Um, but in the second half, we did make an emphasis on driving it to the basket more. But I was not worried about the offense. I was only worried about the defense. And, and that's what we had to fix. And what more offense, of course, for your coach? Uh, I seem like a lot. You was like gets in motion, 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 and the ball kind of stuck on certain sides. So what are you gonna do to kind of get the guys to move that ball some more, well, get it, get it going? Yeah, that just comes with a little experience. You know, they got to get on the same page. You know, guys aren't cutting to make themselves available. So the guys with the ball, they don't have anybody to pass it to. And we got some other things that we'll try to implement in our, our motion offense to keep the ball moving faster. But they just got to get used to playing with each other. I mean, we that was the first game for everyone out there except for one player. And that was the first game for the coach. I mean, everything was new tonight. And so I thought that they responded well at halftime and came out and, and, and did a lot better job in the second half. Uh, this is both for both uh, Marcus and Jay. Um, you guys, uh, you know, it was really kind of an early, a lot of baskets going in. And then, you know, you hit about halftime pretty close. I mean, what did you guys come out and do at half and kind of really come out early and help you guys kind of pull away from right there? Um, I think we came out locked in defensively. We didn't really focus on offense because our offense was going. It was just we couldn't get stopped, so we wanted to get stopped so we can go on and transition and score easy baskets. Yeah, I feel like we just have to be like in a defensive mindset at all times. Um, uh, as far as like giving max effort, um, having in our head that we're going to stop our guy. So we have that. Um, we don't have to worry about offense. So it's just the way our system is set up. I thought the shooting was really nice tonight, especially from the arc. So uh, was that something you guys really hammered down in the preseason to really make sure you guys are hitting all three you need to? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Roper, he, he's a good three-point shooter. I'm a good set-side shooter. Um, so, like Coach said, if, if it's our shot and then we open, we have to take it. And we can't choke on it. Just got to let it go so it can be, like, relaxed. Coach, were you nervous first game? I wasn't really nervous. Um, I was more anxious. I wasn't nervous. Uh, I just want these guys to experience winning at this level. And there's just a certain way you go about it. And as a coach, if you don't feel like they're moving in that direction, then, you know, you could be, become a little nervous. But, you know, we've had a couple good days of practice the last couple of days. And uh, I just want them to get experience. You know, it's really not about me. But, I mean, it's, um, it's fun to get out there and be a head coach and, and, and you know, call the plays and, and be the voice of the program. But, um, you know, I'm just happy these guys kind of got that bear off their back of winning their first game. Did you see them uh, responding well to, I mean, the practice and all the working? That's more, I think coaches enjoy that more than players. Then they get to enjoy the game itself. Did you see them uh, kind of shining in that moment? Yeah, I actually told them that last night. You know, the practice is about the coach. If I don't like something, we just redo it. Yeah. In the game, we can't redo it. It's about the players. They've got to make the plays. Uh, I thought that their approach changed a little bit in the second half. They were very robotic early on, meaning they tried to run every play perfect and get us into this, get us into that. Sometimes you just got to play what we call opportunity basketball. And um, sometimes it's not very pretty. But um, I think that we ended up, you know, getting our feet underneath us a little bit and, and we turned the corner a little bit. But it's just going it's gonna to be a process. It's going to be a process with these guys. Um, you know, there's so many things that can go on in a basketball game that they've yet to experience. And tonight, something that they experienced was a lack of defensive effort in the first half, but they were able to come back the second half and, and kind of fix it. Uh, for anybody, uh, Sloan and Miller coming up on Tuesday, what can you take from this game and uh, kind of continue some momentum for us this season? Well, you know, for these players, they haven't had a chance to see Southern Illinois at all. Obviously, we've been focusing on Ryan Hart and, and then ourselves. Uh, being from the Missouri Valley, I understand what type of basketball they play. It's going to be a very physical game, 
Okay, it's going to be very physical. Uh, they've got a great coach who's been a Division One head coach for 10 plus years. He's worked at Kansas. Uh, I think he was an undergrad at, I believe, Oklahoma State, maybe. Uh, he was roommates with Bill Self, I believe. So, I mean, he knows basketball just by being around, you know. So, um, but it's going to be fun. We get a Missouri Valley team coming to the Gentry Center. Hopefully, we can get some people in here. Uh, Southern Illinois is a regional team that we're going to try to play, you know, hopefully every year. We actually play them twice this year. So, um, it's just fun getting a good quality mid major conference in the, in the Gentry Center. Any more questions? <clears throat> Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.